Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Bootney Farnsworth. That's right, Bootney Farnsworth. Before we get started on this crazy commentary, I want to thank Thunder for letting me upload to this community channel. Now let's get started. So, I get a call from the UFC matchmaker asking me if I would fight a guy from England named Lee Murray. And I'm like, hell yeah. Murray was known for being a great striker with a devastating right hand. So matchmaking wise, I knew it would be a barn burner. With my background in Muay Thai, it had to be a great fight. So my team made some calls to some top MMA trainers and they all verified that Murray was the real deal. I mean, a legit badass. And by badass, I just didn't mean in the cage. Originally, what made people take notice of this relatively unknown fighter was a story about him knocking out Tito Ortiz in a street fight. Now at the time, Tito was the UFC light heavyweight champion, destroying everyone that the UFC put in front of him. So supposedly, Ortiz got in an altercation with Murray after a UFC event held in England. I wasn't there, so I don't know whether it happened or not. There's no debate. I knocked the geezer out. But anyway, as I started preparing for the fight, I was hearing stories about Murray being a legit gangster. But you hear that shit all the time. People throw that word gangster around a lot nowadays. So I think maybe like two weeks before the fight, we get a call from the UFC that Murray was out due to the fact that he was unable to get a visa. I was bummed. Anyway, opponent change and I end up fighting a wrestler from South Africa. It wasn't until I fought in England the first time that I realized why Murray couldn't get a visa. I guess a guy cut him off in traffic and he and the guy pulled over to the side of the road where Murray pulled the guy out of the car and beat the guy senseless hospitalizing him. The promoters also went on about Murray being a gangster and all the stories we heard about him was true. Me and my coach just kind of looked at him like, you know, yeah, right. And we started laughing. And he gave us that look. Okay, so the promoters continued telling us that when Murray lost to Anderson Silva, by decision I might add, that after the fight, Anderson was celebrating in the cage. And the promoters had to calm the London crowd and Murray's supporters down. The promoters were actually worried about Anderson's safety. I fought that night and won, and I called Murray out, respectfully I might add, <laughs> and I told the crowd that with my left hook and Murray's right hand, that somebody was getting knocked the fuck out. When I first met Murray, he seemed like a serious dude, but what I noticed the most was how people acted around him. You'd have thought Tony Soprano just stepped into the room. <laughs> so at this time, guys, I'm still like, uh, yeah, whatever. I'm still not convinced. Boy, was I fucking wrong. Fast forward a few months, and we hear in the news that Murray was stabbed several times and that his lungs were punctured. I guess he was outside a club and a couple of guys jumped him. They say his heart stopped on the way to the hospital. Talk about street cred. It's gonna take a lot more than that to take me out. Five weeks pass, and a YouTube video surfaces showing Murray in the gym hitting pads. This dude almost died, has surgery on his lungs. I'm like, okay, sometimes truth is crazier than fiction. And I get to thinking, maybe this motherfucker is a legit badass. So, my next fight in London is against Anderson Silver for the belt. Murray comes into my locker room before my fight and wishes me luck. I think you got a shot, mate. He shows me his scars from the incident and surgery. And he says in a strong English accent, Those bastards tried to kill me. I noticed his knuckles were huge. 
And Murray's no big guy. Soaking wet, he was probably 185, standing at 6'3". Okay, okay, okay. I'm convinced he's legit. It can't get crazier than this. Knocking out UFC champions, hospitalizing several people. Tony Soprano aura, being stabbed in the lungs, almost dying. Back in the gym a month later. <laughs> you got the juice, man. <laughs> Fast forward again a few months later. I'm watching the news. The largest cash bank robbery in London history. Over a hundred million dollars. The mastermind behind the heist. None other than Lightning Lee Murray. Damn. I'll be back and you better believe it. This is Bootney Farnsworth. The only pugilistic COD commentator in the business. Don't forget to like, comment, and prescribe. Oh, I mean subscribe. <laughs>